This is a potential base site. So let's do this. And in, in potential base sites, let's put down two beacons. All right, welcome back to another episode of Astroneer with your host, Midnight. Uh, please hit the like button if you like the series. Leave comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Last we left off, we are back on the Terran planet. And we're kind of jumping around to see if we can't find a tree biome. I don't know if this is possible. This planet's kind of weird. I don't think I've ever really been on a Terran roll like this. It's, uh, it's kind of strange. So this is not far from my base, but the plan is now that we land somewhere and we drop off a beacon. If it's not that exciting. And look at this, I'm landing like just like on a dot of inside of a ravine. I see a little, it goes down into a cave there and there. Wow. This is kind of crazy. This is not the place I'd, I'd want to be. Let's create a beacon. And we're just going to leave the beacon here. We're going to take a quick look around after my oxygen fills up. Maybe grab some more compound if we see it. This is not the friendliest place. This is kind of wild. This is the second landing location that I've had that's been kind of like this. It's kind of little... Caverny, ravine like it's a nice um solar panel up there could build a nice little base around that solar panel there's there's research underneath these rocks which i learned a couple episodes ago from one of the viewers that left a comment which i appreciate thank you which i never knew i never knew that you could find research underneath that those rocks this is a nice little compound area. There's another one over here. Let's just take a quick peek over there. We have the oxygen. Luckily, I've got three oxygen things. This is a nice setup. I mean, look at look at the solar panel. The solar panel is pretty much vertical. And it's you've got the connection right here. It's going like crazy. Got two little researches. I don't remember if I've seen that one a lot. This is a potential base site. So let's do this. In, in potential base sites, let's put down two beacons. One for no, two for a yes. As a potential base. Because that would just help with power. I, I, I wouldn't have to worry about power. At least daytime power. And this little... Well, it's not little. This ravine scenario would be kind of neat to get a vehicle down in there. There's something over there. Oh, a zebra ball. It's a zebra ball sitting over there. All right. Well, this is a two beacon location. Let's put down a second beacon. And let's pick up that beacon before it flies away. And we'll just put this beacon down. Uh, yeah, right here. All right, let's go look at somewhere else. Let's see what that double beacon looks like, too. And get an idea of what, what we're looking at. Uh, I think we missed it, but let's, let's just wait. Well, the double beacon's a little hard to see, but I mean, you can distinguish that it is a double beacon. That's my home base. Been all around there, and then some. Let's come out. There's another area I've been around, and it should render. Just like down here or something. Let's Let's come over here.
Usually, if you've been there, you can see the major features on the planet. Okay, well this is... this is pretty barren. This is kind of like where I landed to begin with. Not much in the way of anything. It's flat. That's all I can say about it. That's like flat for as far as you can see is flat. Wow. Let's create a beacon. There's some compound very close to the landing area. Just grab some of this stuff. Put down a beacon. Uh, let's yeah, let's put down a beacon, then grab the compound. Let's leave this one thing of tethers here. Oh, we can get a little, little bit more compound. Good. Off we go. Another landing zone. Leave my trash here. I didn't find any. Oh, there was some. Was that hydrazine? Mm, I think that was resin. I also have to remember to grab hydrazine. How about this? This looks very green. Not that that means anything. We're going to need to find hydrazine or we're going to have to go back to the base. Well, colors are nice. It's pretty. I haven't been here. Is this a single beacon or a double beacon? It's yet to be determined. The last one was a double beacon mainly because of the solar panel that was sitting sticking up out of the ground. Which I thought would be great because I wouldn't have to worry about power so much. Let's see if I can see any hydrazine on the surface. There's one hydrazine in there. So I thought I saw one. Yep. Let's see. Is there anything else in here? Hydrazine wise? Nope. Why does it feel like there is a almost felt like there was a storm coming. Which would not be good for this Astroneer, because I don't have anything! No! Decent trade stuff. Is it a double beacon, though? Hmm. Single beacon or double beacon? Entrance to a cave, though. Nice entrance to a cave. We're getting into this bluish stuff, which has been typically rocks. Yeah, man, I don't see anything. I don't see it at all. Look at this, <laughs> look at this little donut mound over here. Another cave entrance. And another one, there's something here. Something right here. You know, a bunch of entrances into some, ah, oh, hydrazine, cool. 
A bunch of entrances into some caves and stuff. Which, that works out pretty well. Let's see, how much can I hold? I can really only hold two. Well, how much do I have? Can I stick something? I can stick one. So I'm gonna get, I can get three. Okay. Let's get out of here. Well, I, you know, I don't know if this is a double beacon place. It's, it's... Maybe. Let's, let's put down a double beacon. I mean, we need to be a little bit more strict on, on our rules for what gets a double beacon, what doesn't get a double beacon. But I like the fact that it's really flat. I got a storm coming in. Can I build this beacon real fast? Maybe put it off. Just offset it a little bit. Alright, let's get in. Take off. Let's go to another place. That was double beacon landing zone. That's my house. How about we go over here? We'll see what this has to offer. Yep, a, a lot more of the same. Just a lot more of the same. It's not it's not any different. I'm I'm finding a lot of down ships. This one, wow, this one's got totally destroyed. That's well, kind of interesting. You know, we should... You know what I should do? For this, we should just... Uh, every single place we do... We should probably try to visit every single one. How about that? How about that's the goal for this? Because I don't think we're going to find trees. But it would be neat to, to land on every location. Uh, why am I not gathering... This is definitely a single. This is not a double. Nothing fascinating here. Just more of the same. More of the same. take off. Well, we didn't really run this way. Let's run this way. It's a big cave entrance right there. Alright, made a circle. I'm happy with it. I didn't go that far out, but we made a circle. call this the visiting every stop tour.
You know, if there was copper that was readily available, I would put down a printer and I would put down a research station. And we could just grab the research that's close by. Because there's a lot of research just like sitting here. Do that first. Just gotta remember to do that. Yeah, I don't see anything. This one, I like really don't see anything. It's, uh, you know, I got I've got this this ravine right here. Look at this compound! Wow, that is a massive compound. Not even a lot of down chips on this one. In this particular area. I'm telling you, if you're marooned on this planet, that would be hard. It'd be hard. It's kind of like my hard roll. You know, I keep calling this my hard roll. It kind of really is. The research on that one is going to be all underground. Oh, I haven't been to the Baron planet. I have not been to Baron. Let's see. I can go to Baron too. Let's come over here. Not that far from my base. Well, maybe it is. It's a little off to the side. Wow. Look at this landing spot. I don't even think you can survive this. <laughs> oh, they need to call that messed up base one. Look at that. That is, that's amazing. You'd have to build your way over. That's the first thing you'd have to do. Build your way over so that you can get around this. Wow. But look how big this cavern is. So this is wait for the sun to come up. What is that in the distance? Is that just part of this down ship or is that Oh, I don't even know what that is, but I want I want to go see it. I, I won't survive this fall. That's it's too too steep. Wow, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy landing spot. Compound below me. Yeah, I'd have to build down. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go over here. Let's see what that thing was. A downed astroneer. No way. 
Hydrazine, though. Let's take the Hydrazine. Yeah, I don't care about the rest. Is there Hydrazine up there? In that ship? A little hard to tell, right? That's titanium. I couldn't see anything else, though. Hmm. That was a pretty wild landing spot. That's uh, resin. So there's some resin there. This would be a nice little base area, though. I don't know. It's neat. It's neat, but it's not. It's not a double. There's nothing. Well, there's a couple items that were over there. I saw it as I was coming up. There are a couple downships. Yeah, another one where I'm like sitting on the edge of a cliff. Kind of. Now I'm curious. I'm curious as to what this tree has to offer. If anything. You just have to be careful in this type of vegetation because you can't see a, a break in the terrain. Let's see. What do you have underneath you? Nothing. Nothing, right? No, nothing. That's kind of a weird old tree. A weird old little vegetation. Nothing underneath it, though. Just hoping for a little something. Nice entrance to a very deep cave, from what I can see. Let's grab a little compound while we're here. Well, anything else of interest? Well... About it. How did I get over there? There was a pathway around, right? Yeah, let's not fall in the big giant hole. No, took a little damage there. quite anything out these directions. Alright. A single guy. Oh, did I... I found a hydrazine, right? Oh, no. I found no hydrazine. Well, we have a choice now. Unless we can find some hydrazine really close around here. We're going to have to go back to the base. Uh, a couple different. Is there hydrazine in here? No, negative. Negative on the hydrazine. Oh, shucky darn. I think I have one more leap, but then that's it. That I'm I'm stuck. It's like Gilligan. 
Gilligan's Island, man. Hmm. I'm sure in one of these caves down here somewhere there's hydrazine, but... I don't know that I want to go for it. I'm finding like massive compound fields, but well, I think this is two jumps. I don't, I don't think it's one. I think it's two. Let's see how much get gets used up. No, I really think that that's just one jump. <laughs> one jump. Yeah, it wouldn't be smart to run out of fuel. So, let's go back to the base. Going back to the base is a wise idea right now. Let's drop into the base, and I think we're going to call it an episode. Well, thanks, thank you guys for joining me while we're checking out these landing spots to see if there's anything interesting. I didn't see anything interesting. I, mean, I only saw one base that looked kind of interesting. Kind of neat. The rest, eh. So-so. We could probably do better. But we can go down into the caves and kind of build this base up a little bit. And, and we probably should do that because I need... Mm, probably going to need like um, fuel condensers and... I don't know what else. Maybe whatever else I haven't made that I've made on other planets. I think the trade platform I think I can make here. Yeah, so let's let's do that in another episode. I, I appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you so much. Put a like if you like the series. Leave comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'm also starting a Twitch channel. So if you guys can follow me on Twitch, that'd be fantastic. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.